today I'm going to do a haul vlog. I haven't done a haul vlog in so long and that's because I've been super duper busy and haven't really been shopping so haven't had anything to show you. However, as Esme's birthday is coming up this Monday, she's turning seven, and I just got out all of her birthday gifts to wrap up, I thought that I would do a vlog showing you everything she will be receiving for her seventh birthday on Monday. I love watching video birthday haul gift vlogs because not only do I like watching what people have bought, but it gives me great ideas, and having three girls, I'm always on the hunt for ideas of what to buy for birthdays and things like that so I think these vlogs are great and really really good for watching if you have your own children with birthdays coming up they give you ideas and things like that so I do have a lot to show you our plan was to call to Smith's Toys tomorrow and grab a few more things because I wasn't sure how much Esme had and was a bit worried um, but having just got everything out now it's definitely a bit crazy and I will not be going to Smith's Toys tomorrow for more. I'll show you. So I have quite a lot to get through. It was made a little bit easier for Esme this year and I will be honest, I didn't really struggle on what to buy her because she has some interests which made present buying quite easy. She's obsessed with Lego. Um, and there's so many Lego sets to buy and they're pretty expensive some of them so it's not something we'd buy her as just a general gift. So we've got Lego, we have Build-A-Bear, she's really enjoyed Build-A-Bear this year and going in finding clothes. Pretty! Sorry the dog's going crazy with my slipper. Um, Build-A-Bear, yeah she loves going in there finding clothes, not only clothes for the bear but she likes to dress up her dolls, her babies, things like that. So that was another idea I had for her. And also ice skating, she loves ice skating. So we managed to get a few things ice skating-y related to. I've split the Lego up into three different um, categories as there is three different types of Lego that she's got. She has Lego Friends. Um, a Disney Princess Lego and Light Bricks it's called um, which I'll show you in a minute. I'll start off with Lego Friends as that's probably the best known one around. One of the sets that she really really wanted was this um, birthday train. It's really cute, it's quite a small set but it's just basically um, one of the girls and a little birthday train. I think it's because it's her birthday, she was like, I need the birthday train. So this was about eight pounds. And I know she'll, oh, this was about eight pounds. And I know she'll be really, really happy when she sees that she's got this. Another one is this um, stargazer type one. Um, Chris, her daddy, absolutely loves space and stars and all things like that. So this is one that they'll really enjoy doing together. And it basically comes with a jeep car, a character, and some stargazing telescope equipment. So I think she'll really like that one. I actually think this is the last Lego Friends. This is the aeroplane slash airport. Her daddy works in an airport, so he really likes planes. And also, we really like planes, we love to travel, love airports, love just watching planes. We live five minutes from an airport, so we spend a lot of time up there eating fish and chips and watching the planes come in. Um, so I think she'll really like this. It comes with an aeroplane and a kind of a security part, two different characters, and I think she'll really like this. This was on sale from Smith's. I think it was... £20 reduced to 15 something like that. I know it's also on sale at Amazon, on Amazon even. Um, so if you're interested in this, get it now as it's on sale. Moving on to Disney Lego, um, Esme really, 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 really wanted the Frozen Arendelle Castle and that set was really expensive. I think it's around £50 it retails at, £45, £50, which I think is a lot of money for Lego, which I know Esme will sit and play, however it's one of those things where you know bits will be lost and you know it won't last forever. Um, so I was a bit, oh I didn't really want to pay that. Um, luckily her grandparents offered to buy that for her, 
but even better, I managed to find it on eBay, brand new, on an auction, and I won the auction for £28 or £29, something like that. So I was so, so chuffed. Here it is. This is a large set. Um, as I won this for £29 and it retails at 50 I was slightly worried that maybe the seller wouldn't send it. And when it arrived, this wasn't what arrived. This is actually what the seller sent. It's the Frozen... Um, it's the Frozen Ice Palace instead of the Arendelle Castle and this is what she sent by accident when I'd actually worn this one. So I messaged the seller and asked her what I should do and she said that she would send me out this set and to keep this one for the inconvenience which is so so kind of her to do. Um, these are not cheap, I think these retail at £35 and Esme will be so 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 happy that she's actually got both sets and not only that but for 29 pounds we got like 85 pound worth of lego which is just awesome so this is the ice palace Ooh, pee -pee -pee -pee. <laughs> this is the ice palace comes with anna elsa olaf and lots and lots and lots of accessories i'm sure esme will absolutely love playing with that and then this is the Arendelle Castle. She really wanted it because it came with snowgies. Is that what they're called? Snowgies. And a slide. Also comes with Anna and Elsa. And yeah, I can't wait. I have to admit, I am a little bit excited to play with these. Okay, and then Isabel got her this, which is super duper cute. She chose this for Esme. It's a small set, but it is the Palace Pets... Um, I think it's Cinderella, well yeah it's Cinderella, it's got the coach and Esme has Ariel already in this set so small one, doesn't usually take Esme too long to build these ones up, just maybe 10-15 minutes but she really likes playing with them so I'm sure she'll love that and thank Isabel for it. And then the two Disney Princess ones that me and Chris bought for her was this one which I chose, it's the... I actually bought this before getting the two castles. If I'd have known she was going to get both castles, I probably wouldn't have bought this. But as I'd already bought it, I thought I would keep it. It's the Anna and Kristoff and Sven sleigh. And I think it's the trading post too. I think she'll really like that one. And then the final Disney princess one is this, which is... Esme's favourite princess, Rapunzel, and she really wanted the the bigger the bigger tower she asked for, but that was like fifty pounds, and as she'd already got so much Lego, um, we thought it was too much. So, Chris chose the smaller set, which is still quite nice. It comes with what's the horse called? What's the horse called? That's really gonna bug me. from Rapunzel oh my gosh please comment below what the horse from Rapunzel's called because I can't remember and it's going to drive me insane anyway so she got that and that's the last Disney princess Lego set okay next up is light bricks this Lego is awesome as far as I'm concerned this Lego is absolutely amazing I love it it's basically Lego that lights up. So you put small batteries in it and it's like a disco on an evening. It's great. Esme has never had this before, but Isabel has. However, Isabel never really took to Lego. We got her a few sets for Christmas a few years back and she just she's, she's the opposite of Esme in that way. Isabel doesn't have any patience to sit and do things in the way that Esme does. Um, it's just one of those things Esme really enjoys and Isabel didn't. Um, so I'm really excited to try these with Esme. And also because these are not very well known, like Lego Friends and Disney Princess Lego, they don't have kind of the big brand name, um, they're a lot cheaper than other Lego. And I got most of these off of eBay, but a few from Toys R Us as well, and I'm really, really pleased with them. These are from eBay, it was £8 for both sets. I think it was cheaper actually. £6. Yeah, £6 for both sets. This one is... Um, 
a doctor's life comes with lots and lots of accessories and then this one is a park with a slide and a swing and as you can see they both light up so that's those two then these next three sets I want as a package on eBay I worked out that it would retail at around I think it was around 110 pounds or something like that had they been bought when they were first released from a high street store however I won all three sets for a grand total of 23 pounds mega mega saving so happy this is the first one it's a pop star on tour bus quite a big set it has 209 pieces so basically I don't know how many characters you get in this actually um, set comes with Briella one so quite cool tour bus all lights up as you as you can see opening there these are all brand new by the way um, so I think she'll really like that one know for sure that she'll love this one because it's a sweet shop and what child doesn't like sweet shops so this is an even bigger set and comes with the doll Ava and is how many pieces doesn't say how many pieces this set comes with doesn't say but anyway it's a sweet shop and it all lights up that's just just to show the battery pack and I think Esme will really like that I think she'll really enjoy playing with it and it's something that we can build up together so that's that one and then the final one to come in the set for the bargain price of 23 pounds was this even bigger one and this is a light up mansion she's really wanted type of a house um apartment lego set somewhere for her lego friends to sleep because she has a lot of the dolls now and she likes to play with them and um, so she'll really really like this it's a mansion and it comes with is it one or two doll? This doll actually comes with two, Ava and Madison. This is really good. This is a really good set, and it also comes. I didn't realise with two pools, as you can see, one there, and like a pool here with lilo things on it. So yeah, I just I think that's great. All three sets. All three sets. For £23. Final piece of Lego because as you can see me and Esme and Daddy will literally be building Lego until January 2019. <laughs> this is the final piece and actually the first set that we bought. Chris actually bought this set from Toys R Us and that he bought it because it was a really good price. I think it was £49.99 reduced to £19.99 so less than half price and it is the sunset island mall so it's basically a big shopping mall you can get two shopping malls one's um a smaller set and this is the larger one so it comes with the elevator and a few shops things like that and also comes with ava and kaylin ava's in a lot of sets so she's going to have quite a few of those ava dolls this set is 300 and 81 pieces so definitely one that daddy will have to help with so that's it for lego i didn't actually realize how much lego she had but as i say some bits are what isabella chose to buy her a few are from grandparents a set we got absolutely free and yeah i think considering esme asked for lego only for her birthday i think she'll be pretty happy with the amount she's got Next up is an item that I actually bought on eBay. It's a Build-A-Bear bear and the reason I bought it on eBay is because a while back we went away for Isla's birthday to a caravan and we were in a kind of a, a cheap seaside type market shop and there was a Build-A-Bear, not, not real Build-A-Bear but kind of like a, a copy of Build-A-Bear in there that was multicoloured and Esme absolutely fell in love with it. However, it was quite expensive and didn't feel great quality and I just didn't think it would last very long so I told her to wait until her birthday and I managed to find one on eBay 
and I think I got it for around £7 which is a great price and here it is I'll take it out of the box it's a rabbit it's official builder bear and it's just really soft and nice and is really colourful like the bear we saw when we were away for Isla's birthday so I know she will really like this it did come with a little outfit on it as well however I took that off and popped it in the bottom of a box so that she can dress the bear up when she receives her. Hello. Next up is a present from Esme's granny and grandpa and that is this Elsa ice skating doll. Kind of Esme's favourite things all rolled into one. Rolled? All rolled? All rolled into one. Ice skating and Disney princesses. She loves both. This is a doll that Isla got for her birthday but she got it in um, Anna. So now Esme has the Elsa one and I'm sure they'll play together nicely with those. And this came up for sale in January. I think it was 20... 24.99 and we got it for £11 and that was from Argos so that's been sat downstairs in the cupboard for the last six months and I'm sure Esme will be really happy to receive this. These two La La Loopsie girls stitched together forever friends. I actually didn't buy these for Esme, these were bought in January for someone's birthday can't quite remember what happened now I think I found something else anyway these weren't really for anyone they were just bought for birth a birthday and never ended up getting given and as I was thinking about Esme's birthday gifts I kind of felt like she had a lot of presents but only Lego and I didn't really want her to wake up on a birthday morning with nothing other than Lego so I thought I'd give her these however looking at a pile now like I said before she does have quite a lot and we are going away for her birthday, so not sure I will um, give her these. But I'm not sure. Maybe I will do. Maybe I won't. These were in the sale. I think these were around £7 each. They were really cheap. And they were from Toys R Us. This is a little bit of a random present. Esme has fallen in, lo fallen in love with Westie dogs. She just thinks they are absolutely amazing. Since having Prinny who she loves, <laughs> um, she just keeps saying, I love Westies, I love Westies, when we're in the park walking Prinny, she's always on the lookout for a Westie dog, we actually found one in the park um, last week and she was so, so excited. So I found this little set in Morrison's, it wasn't expensive, it was about £4 I think, but them dogs look quite like Westies, don't know if they actually are or not. I think they might be but they look like Westies anyway and I think she'll love this set she loves like things like this small dogs and puppies and things that she can collect and keep in a jewelry box and to treasure she loves things like that so that's just a random little set that um, I got for her next up is something I only bought yesterday kind of an impulse thing to buy but I had one when I was younger and this is another thing that I bought for Isabel when she was younger but she didn't like it she, she couldn't do it if Isabel can't do something that's it she can't do it and she doesn't want to try and, and that's it she just can't do it if Esme can't do something she, she'll really try really really hard and keep trying and keep trying and keep trying until she can do it um, so I'm hoping we have more luck with Isabel with this because I loved my one of these when I was a child and that is a I used to call them skipsies when I was younger Skipsies, but this is called Girls Club Light Up Hopper. So it, I don't know if you can see that, but when it spins, it lights up, and you basically put it on your ankle and swing it round and jump over it. So this was two pound ninety nine. Could not resist it. Got so excited when I saw it because I want to play with it. And hopefully Esme really enjoyed playing with this too. Okay, coming to her final two main presents. Okay, this present we actually bought for Isla for her birthday. However, when her birthday came round and we saw how many presents she had, we just decided that maybe we shouldn't give her this too. 
and maybe we should keep it for Esme for her birthday instead because they play together with everything they get anyway so um, we decided just to keep it for Esme. All three of our girls absolutely love hotels. They adore going, any in fact one year for Esme's birthday we went to Alton Towers which is a theme park in the UK and stayed over in a hotel. We had two day a two day pass for the park so the day we arrived hotel stay and then the day after and all that first day we was trying to enjoy the theme park and have loads of fun and all Esme wanted to do was go back to the hotel and sit in the hotel room because I don't know it's just like a novelty to them they just think it's ace I love hotels too we do love staying in hotels but I don't know Esme, Isabel and Isla just they think it's the best thing ever so sidetracking a little this is a Playmobil hotel. This weighs a ton. So this is a huge Playmobil summer fun hotel. We didn't have any Playmobil up until Isla's birthday when we got her um, a park, like a play park, and her and Esme played with that loads they've played with that loads since i was birthday so i'm so so pleased that we saved this for esme because i know she's she's really into playmobil now and she knows what it is and she will absolutely love it and the fact that it's a hotel and something that they're both so interested in i know they'll just play for ages with this it comes with so many accessories isabel Isabel likes putting things together, so I know she'll love pl not so much playing maybe, but she'll like putting this together and helping them set it up and things like that. So this is something they'll definitely all get use out of. And this was a really good... I have to put it down, it's so heavy. This was... Oh, I can, I'm trying to think how much I spent on this. It was a really good deal. I think it was around £80. I got it in January by the way off of Amazon it was around 80 pounds and I think we got it for like 30 it was like I can't remember it was a, it was a lot off though uh, more than 50% so I'm so so chuffed about that and I'm so excited to um, see Esme's face when she gets that then today when I was doing my weekly Asda shop I came across these Playmobil pl uh, pl pl Playmobil blind bags these are basically um, figures, figures to play with and they are lots of different ones to collect and I just thought they'd be really fun for the girls to open on the morning as I, probably every child out there is the same but mine really enjoy blind bags and opening them and seeing who they got so I, bought, I picked up a few bags of those so I picked up a few bags of those I'll probably give a couple to Isabel, a couple to Isla, and then the rest to Esme. And I'm sure they'll enjoy opening those. Now, Esme's final main big birthday present from me and Daddy was drum roll. I'm trying to open them. Maybe not. Was these mega gorgeous ice skates. She is going to be so excited when she gets these. Esme has made reference before on how awesome it would be to have her own ice skates, but that she would never be able to do it because they cost hundreds and hundreds of pounds, which actually isn't true. These were uh, 45 pounds, I think. Or 40, no, uh, 39.99 they were. And I just think they are the cutest thing ever. She is going to absolutely love these. I love the silver snowflakes and the pink fur and the contrast of the laces. I just think they're so cute. Didn't realise they had like pink dots. Some of the snowflakes have pink dots in them and Esme, honestly, I don't think I've ever been so excited to give her a gift <coughs> as I am about giving her these. She's just going to be over, over, over the moon. And she'll probably want to wear them all weekend, which is not good, considering we will be in the Yorkshire Dales. <laughs> but yeah, she'll be able to wear these for her birthday party. And... Oh, they're just so sweet! I want them! Oh, ooh. I want them. 
bought some. Esme's grandparents have also bought her an Esme on Ice ice skating hoodie. It's basically black and then on the front it's embroidered with hot pink, the same as her ice skates, and the front says Esme on Ice and then on the back it has some ice skating boots. Um, she will probably wear that for her birthday party as she's having an ice skating party. But that's downstairs and will not be included in this vlog because I'm lazy and can't be bothered going down to get it. Sorry! The final thing that I'm going to show you is kind of a present for Esme and... Nope, not Esme, they're all Esmes. It's a present for Isabel and Isla. Every year we get the other two, whose not birthday it is, a small gift to say thank you for being such a good big, big or little sister and just so that they don't feel overly left out. I do agree with the birthday child being, you know, having lots of fuss made of them, it's their birthday and I don't agree with maybe spoiling the other children as well. However, I don't know, I do like getting them a small, small gift just to say thank you for being great sisters and I feel like it helps them play really well together too. For example, the Playmobil figures involves both of the other two in the Playmobil set so they'll want to now play with that big hotel because they have figures of their own to play with. So they will both receive one of these Playmobil blind bags or maybe they'll receive two, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll probably give Isabel and Isla two and then and then there'll be four left over so Esme will get four and um, the other two will get two also I bought these little bug explorer kits which I thought would be nice to wrap them up these were 79p so we're not talking a lot of money these are 79p and the girls love going into the garden and exploring and as we are going away for Esme's birthday into the Oxydales where we will be spending a lot of time outdoors, I thought these would be really nice to take with us and let them play with. And the final thing that Esme and, nope, keep getting the names wrong, <laughs> um, Isabel, please tell me I'm not alone. Please tell me that people with more than one child has to go through the whole family before getting to the actual right one. Please tell me I'm not alone. Okay, they've all got one. It's lip balms. My girls freaking love lip balms. They must go through so, so many. And, and it's just one of those things that are really cheap, always really appreciated and excited when they get them. So I thought these were super cool. I think these are about £1.99 each from my local bargain store. And they came in three designs. So I thought that they would be really nice to wrap up for all three girls for Esme's birthday. So... I'll probably give Isla the frozen ones, probably Esme these chupa chups, chupa chup lolly ones, and Isabel the cola Fanta Sprite ones. So Isabel and Isla will receive these for Esme's birthday to say thank you for being such a great big sister or little sister. And that's everything. So that's Esme's huge birthday haul. And as you can see, I definitely don't need to be going to Smith's Toys tomorrow to get her any little bits because she has a huge amount of toys. So <clears throat> I'm hoping we can get them all in the car. The girls don't know. Esme has been desperate to go to the cottage for her birthday and we keep telling her no we can't go there's somebody in the cottage at that time and she's really upset so she will be so excited when we pick her up from school tomorrow and tell her surprise we're going away she'll be so excited so we will be vlogging the whole trip so don't forget to head on back over to our channel to check out um, the girls reactions I'll obviously be filming Esme's birthday and her reaction on getting them ice skates is probably going to be one you don't want to miss. So that's all for now. Thank you so much for watching. Co oh, oh my gosh, it's Maximus. I was just going to say, comment below Rapunzel's horse's name and it came to me. Maximus. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, Maximus. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will speak to you real soon. Bye.